This is the new OnePlus 12. I've been testing it for the past three weeks and I previously came from the OnePlus 9 Pro and in this video I'll be showing you why I think it's worth upgrading. We'll be looking at build quality, cameras, internals, OS, and accessories. Let's get started. Starting off with build quality, you could see that they have a very similar shape. The OnePlus 12 might be slightly wider and taller, but overall the dimensions feel very similar. They moved the alert slider from the right side to the left and replaced it with volume buttons. I sometimes click the power button when I want to turn down my music or the video that I'm watching so it's a bit of a learning curve when it comes to the power button being so close to the volume rocker. The camera placement did not change from the previous design and we have a nice big camera bump which I really like. The surface finish also got changed from a glossy material to a matte silky coating. They added some sparkles in the camera lens and the phone is now less of a fingerprint magnet. One really cool feature that they added back into this phone is the IR blaster. I didn't think I would need it until my TV remote ran out of battery and I had to put it on charge. And this was the fastest way to still be able to control my TV from my phone. Moving to the cameras, I feel like this is one of the greatest improvements. Portrait shots look great and I've noticed that going from one to two times zoom, you could see a little bit of upscaling, but three and six times looks very clear and very usable. I found myself using more zoom in shots and they've turned out really crispy even in low light environment. Another great upgrade was having the ability to record 4K30 on the front camera, which really helps with some selfie shots that look a little bit better when you take front facing selfies or videos. They've also added Pro XDR mode, which really makes the colors pop. But when sending photos out to someone, I have to convert it back to JPEG, which loses just a little bit of quality, but I still like the style and the colors that it produces. Inside the phone, we get a Snapdragon Gen 3 chip, which is very efficient and paired with a 5400 milliamp battery. This will make this phone last a full day and I'm getting an average of 40 to 60% battery remaining after each day of use. My day consists of watching videos, listening to music, going through emails, and a bit of gaming, which doesn't seem to affect this phone. With the new chip, we also get a dual cryo velocity cooler, which helps the phone stay cool. I first noticed this when I was transferring my data from the 9 Pro. Both phones had time to warm up side by side, and I noticed that the OnePlus 12 was slightly warm, while the 9 Pro was a bit hot to the touch. Inside the new phone, we get upgraded RAM and storage. I got the 512 gigabyte model with 16 gigs of RAM. They also included a very strong haptics motor, which I could definitely feel a difference when I get notifications or while using the phone. One thing that made me switch from using Samsung and Apple is OnePlus' software, Oxygen OS. I started using it back when the OnePlus 7 Pro came out and I quickly loved how snappy everything felt on the phone. Since switching to the Mi 9 Pro, I've noticed that I have no slowdowns when I upgrade my phone. I've had no problems with any apps and it has been my go-to OS when considering a new phone. If you would have pre-ordered this phone, you would have got a free 50 watt wireless charger. It could charge twice as fast as the iPhone plugged into the wall. If I wanted to charge even faster, I could plug in the included 80 watt charger for around 30 minutes and get a full charge. This means I spend less time sitting by an outlet and I can enjoy some things such as watching movies, playing games, and listening to music. I decided I'll be sticking with the OnePlus 12 simply because they made a lot of changes and this phone is now worth upgrading to. I appreciate you for sticking around and watching this video till the end. I have some more awesome content on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.